Hey, what's up guys? My name is Achana. Welcome to episode 27 of Game Programming. So today we're going to take a look at actually creating a tile. So yesterday we took a look at creating the tile class. Um, kind of like we did with the level class, right? Um, it's like a template. It's like a little uh, thing to actually, um, you know, extend upon. To create subclasses of this class to actually deal with specific things. Um, so it's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know how to... It's like the top of the hierarchy, really. Um, and yeah, and so we did that. And then the next episode after we created the level class, we sort of dealt, dealt with the random level class, which extends level and is basically just using the code here to actually create something that we can actually use. Um, similar thing today, right? We, we've created this tile thing yesterday. Uh, and now we're actually gonna apply that and create a, a grass tile object. So over here in our, in our tile uh, folder, we'll just right click, hit new and hit class. And we'll type grass, Oops, grass tile, and that's it. And what grass tile will be again is it will extend. Um, it'll extend our tile class. So if we type extends tile, uh, it'll extend it. Now, similar to uh, last time, we actually have we don't have a default constructor. Our constructor actually has a sprite in here. So let's just simply add the the constructor in here. And this constructor is actually perfect for us. Because what it does, again, is when a new grass, ob grass tile object is created, it, do it executes the code that is in here, which just simply sets the public sprite object to, to this sprite object uh, that's in the parameter. Um, and again, it just it inputs from here. So in other words, when we actually create a grass tile object, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll apply the right sprite that's in here. So when, when we do actually in, in a, instantiate it for the, for the first time and, and the last time again, because it will only, we'll only do it once. Um, and I'll, and you'll see what I mean by that in a minute. Um, then we will, we'll, we'll have to specify a sprite. So now that we've done that, there's one more thing that we actually need to, uh, put into our grass tile class. Now, if we go back into our tile class, we basically just got three methods, right? One of, one of them is actually a constructor, but we've got two main methods, right? We've got the render and the solid. Um, now, grass is not solid. In other words, we can walk through grass um, or through the grass tile because grass tile is like really, it's like part of the map. It's the background. It doesn't have any collision applied to it. And because of that, my microphone is getting like freaking, hang on, let me just adjust that. Oh, sorry about that. You might've heard that. Um, anyway, it's getting like, it's like sinking. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, um, so grass isn't solid. Grass isn't collidable. We actually just walk on top of grass. We don't want to bump into it and actually, you know, force the player to stop, which is why we don't actually have to add a, you know, we don't actually have to override this, this method because by default, you know, we've set um, solid to return false. So in other words, this won't have collision by default. So if you create tiles that do not have collision, you actually don't, you know, you don't have to, um, you don't have to, doing this would be completely pointless is what I'm saying. If we, if we can, if we copy this and paste it into here, you'll see that we are overriding it, but we're overriding it with the exact same thing. So it's just, it's redundant. Whereas if it was collidable and we put something like true here, again, it's not redundant anymore because we're, we actually changed the value of it. But grass is actually non, non-solid. It's not collidable. So by default, we'll keep it as false. The other method is the actual render method. That of course needs to be in every single tile thing because we need it to render. So we'll simply copy and paste it here. You'll see that it overrides it, which is beautiful. Again, we don't actually have anything to put into this method yet. But this is where we'll actually, I'll just add a quick comment. You can do that by, by hitting double forward slash. I'm sure everyone knows that's how you create a comment. So in other words, this code, the, the anything following these two, this, these two forward slashes will not be counted as code. It won't be, it won't be compiled. Um, it's just a comment. Um, uh, do render stuff here. So this is, this is where we'll actually render once we actually make the correct method in the screen class, which we'll probably do next, uh, next time. So tomorrow, um, but yeah, this is, this is where we'll actually render everything. Um, so that, that's all set. Um, that's pretty much it. Now all we need to do is actually create the grass tile object. So we've created a class. Now we need to actually, you know, create an object that we can use out of it because Java is an object oriented programming language. So we'll just type, and this is similar to the thing that we did in Sprite, um, where we just went public, uh, public static Sprite grass equals new Sprite. Uh, over here, you'll see as well that, um, well, actually this is static. We'll actually memorize that it's called grass because that is a Sprite that we're actually going to use for our grass tile class. 
or our grass tile tile really. So public static sprite, oh uh, sorry, not sprite, public static tile, and we'll just call it grass, right? equals new grass tile. Now notice how I'm actually setting it equal to grass tile, not to tile. So in Sprite, we didn't have any subclasses. So when we created a new Sprite, we just set it equal to new Sprite. It's the same object. But here we're dealing with different objects. Oh, sorry, over here we're, we're dealing with different objects. We've got tile and then we've got grass tile. You guys might be like, you know, how, how can you set tile equal to a different class? And that is obviously because grass tile actually extends tile. So in other words, grass tile is really, it's part of the tile object. Think of it as that, as that way. Grass tile is the same as tile. It's the same type as tile. Uh, same as like um, five is an integer as well as nine is an integer or eight is an integer. Uh, same thing here, you know, tile and grass tile, they're both tiles, so we can set them equal to each other. Um, new grass tile, and again, the parameter that we created here is a sprite. So we'll simply type sprite.grass. And that is it. If we save, then you said you should see that there are no errors. So again, what we've done here is we've created a static object of a tile called grass. Again, it's static because we'll we'll never we'll never ever be creating any more grass objects. There's only one. It's it's a it's static. The grass tile is static. It does not change. Um, it always has the same parameters. It can't, it can't suddenly become solid or anything. It's 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 static. It's constant. Um, uh, and we've set it equal to a new grass tile with, uh, you know, sprite.grass. So in other words, what we've done here is we've created a new tile object, but we've set it equal to this new set of rules and parameters th that we've created in the grass tile object. Um, because if we just set this equal to, for example, new tile, right, that'll work. That'll be fine. And that will, in this case, actually work perfectly. But the problem is that if we want to add other things into here, like for example, here, we do really need to render it. Um, what we can do is instead of having um, all, all of the all of our code in this one class, and then being, being uh, you know, then, then, when, then we'd have to say, you know, we have to put probably more parameters into here as to if, if it's solid or not, we have to create different instances of this tile class for if it's solid or not, for example, or that the way that it has to render, um, stuff like that, that'd, be, that'd just be all over the place. But here, we can actually set it equal to a specific set of rules that we actually create in a subclass. And they, of course, will be applied to this template class. So that's how that works. I hope you guys understand how that works. It's not easy to explain, but um, once, once you actually get the hang of it, you'll see, you'll see what things you can and can't do with this. And uh, hopefully, you know, it'll be it'll be sweet. So yeah, that's gonna that's gonna conclude today's episode of game programming. Um, if you liked it, please hit the like button. And what more? I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, one other thing is, yeah, tomorrow we'll probably cover going back into our screen class and actually, you know, modifying this random method to actually render our tiles onto the screen, so you guys can sort of see how that works. Um, and and we can we can finally fill this in. So yeah, until then, guys. Goodbye.